Hi. So we are here to tell you about our experience with lymphatic malformation. Um, our little sweetheart here um, was discovered to have what looked like bubbles or cyst-like structures in her abdomen when she was still in the womb, about 34 weeks gestation. And at first the doctors had no idea what it was because they'd never seen this before. Um, backtracking a little, the reason for sharing this information with uh, you guys is that I remember what it felt like when we found out what was going on with her. And I would have loved to have had um, a little more perspective from parents who've been there. Um, I could read some of them a little bit. I found an amazing Facebook group. Um, to check out if your child has been diagnosed with lymphatic malformation, which is very unusual and pretty rare. Um, but I really wanted to talk to people who had already been through sclerotherapy <laughs> sessions and to know what it would really be like and what the scars look like and what, hi, uh, what success they had with their children. <laughs> so that's why we're doing this. We are um, currently actually in the hospital right now, but for a different uh, issue. She's fine though. Um, what we're doing our next, our second round of sclerotherapy will be in about two weeks. So um, she was born with abdominal lymphatic malformation, which is very unusual. Um, hers is massive. It's not one cyst, it's several. Um, so what it is is lymphatic tissue kept growing and kind of bubbling and ballooning and turning in on itself and then filling with lymphatic fluid. And that's what created the cyst. It's a, a, a fluid filled structure. And what we're doing is we're going after them one at a time. They insert, they put her under, they insert catheters um, with radiological assistance directly into each cyst that we're targeting. And they drain them and then inject a medication called doxycycline, which causes inflammation. We're trying, our goal is to get them to scar down from the inside and then collapse on themselves. And then ideally then her body will take care of the collapsed cysts and they go away. The question then is, are the small ones behind the big ones going to balloon out as well? We don't know. Um, that just it's just going to take time to see. So um, her first round went well. She handled it well. It was three days long. Every morning she was put under. Exactly. And uh, the medication was injected, and then the drain stayed in while we were uh, for our duration here at the hospital. And when we went home, her tummy was tiny. I mean, it was so small compared to what it looked like. It was, it was you know an eighth of the size. It was amazing. Um, hers did balloon out again. They're not as big as they were um, when we first started, but they're pretty big. And there's one really large one in there that we're going to focus all of our attention on in two weeks. Um, so I want to show you, I would have liked to see this information before I did it. Hindsight is 2020, and now I have a lot of peace about everything because I know what we're dealing with and we've been through a lot of it already and it's not so big and scary anymore but it was very scary. So um, for you people out there, if your child has been diagnosed and you're wondering what to expect, this is what her scars look like. Right there, if you can see that little dot right there. So they're extremely small. This is what her tummy looks like right now. So you can get a feel for the size. Now again, this is not as large as it was. Um, but they did fill back up again. Sorry, yes, of course, sorry. Um, after the first round of sclerotherapy, which our doctor said could happen, and it did, and so it's not unexpected, but we need to go back in. But it's not as big as it was, so it means that her malformation is responding, which is very encouraging. Um, we are with Children's Hospital Los Angeles with a vascular anomaly center. The doctors here are phenomenal. If you are um, trying to find, um, you know, people who really know what they're doing and specialize in this, I know there's different centers around the country. This one was very close to us, and they responded to our doctors from the hospital that she was born at very quickly. We love our doctors here. They're amazing. Um, they respond quickly. I have their email addresses. One of them gave me his cell phone number and said, you know, text me if you have questions, and I did, and he responds very quickly within like five minutes usually. It's amazing. Um, there, Many doctors are on the team to care for your child. So, um, you know, pediatricians, um, interventional radiologists, surgeons, um, dermatologist was there one time for a meeting um, because 
children who have this can have so many different complications across different body systems. Um, it's very comforting to be here. And it's a beautiful hospital. Um, very compassionate nurses. Um, they take very good care of the patients and their families. Most rooms are private, which is not always the case. And parents are encouraged to stay overnight, which is also not usually the case in a lot of hospitals. So this one is a gift from God. Hi, sweetheart. And um, each day, my first sclerotherapy when she was inpatient here for the sclerotherapy. Um, after she would come out of the anesthesia, it did make her a little sick, but by the afternoon, she was a little more herself. By the next morning, um, she was smiling and happy and pretty much her normal self again. Oftentimes, these procedures can be done outpatient um, if the cysts are smaller and they do the injections and then drain it and then you can you can go home. For her, since they're, they're, they fill her almost her entire abdomen and one of them is extremely large, um, they keep the drains in and we stay here when we are attacking the big one. Um, if, if you have any experience that you would like to share, please comment and um, hi. help others to understand what this is um, and that there are options and that yes, it's scary when you find out this is going on with your child and that it can come back and they can grow back and you don't know if they're all communicating or not. And it's, um, it's a lot to take in, but um, there are people who really know what they're doing in this area and have had great success. Um, Dr. Uh, Zainadi is one of them and Dr. Dean Anselmo um, is the other with the Vascular Anomalies Center here at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. I highly recommend considering them if you um, are looking for a place to have treatment for your, your child or yourself. Well, it's a children's hospital, so you have to be 21 or under, so pretty much just your child. Um, anyways, please leave comments. If you have questions that I can answer, I'd be happy to. I've spent a lot of time researching this now and a lot of time in hospitals now, so um, if I have personal experience with it, I would be happy to tell you my personal experience. These are my personal opinions and what we've been through, and I just wanted to share our story because I would have loved to have seen and found some something like this when this was first uh, going on with us and we first found out what was happening. Okay, well, thank you all. Would you like to say bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.